Welcome to the Makulu Linux install guide. To install Makulu Linux, click on the live installer icon on the desktop. Once that's done, it will ask you for your password. The password is the same as every other live password. It is Makulu. So type in Makulu, small letters of course, as every other password is, and press enter. This will actually start up the live installer. Please make sure to read all the menus um, on all the pop-up windows throughout the install guide. They are there to assist you. Okay, so if you read this, it says this utility will install Makulu Linux to the hard drive. Please follow instructions on the menus. If you are unsure about anything, I highly recommend you check the install guide on the desktop. As you can see there where my little mouse is, there's little install guide. If you click that, it will open up this video and we'll show you exactly how to install Makulu Linux right um, as you can see there is no more um, basic and advanced mode there is only one mode now this should clear up any issues with people clicking the wrong modes and so forth right so let's choose start installation the first thing that will happen when you launch your installer is it will ask your geographic area okay so uh, I'm in South Africa, so I choose Africa. Wherever you are, choose the uh, corresponding location. So I choose Africa. Uh, next, it asks for time zone. Closest time zone to me is Johannesburg, so I click forward. And now it will pop up the installation options. Okay. Now, this is where most people get confused. And I'll easily explain it. If you actually read it, it says only tick the options you want for installation leave the rest unticked the most common options are 01 username and 13 change host name if you don't understand we recommend you watch the install guide on the desktop see so very easy so basically what you got to do here is you got to tick number one to change username and tick number 13 to change host name you do not unless you, if you're gonna use a swap partition or if you're gonna create a swap partition and want to use it then you need to tick number four if not leave it unticked I'll explain the whole swap partition thing in a, in a minute when we get to G parted but for novice users tick number one and tick number 13 okay then click OK now it will pop up you need to have at least one partition ready for installation plus one each separate partition that you choose that's mostly advanced users if you already have partitions ready you can skip the step if you are unsure how to proceed check the install guide icon on the desktop so we're going to click run gparted right up pops gparted let me just blank these quickly delete delete okay this is most likely what you'll see um, when you first uh, install if not um, well then you've obviously used this before and you know how to proceed right all you need to do here is create a single partition new um, obviously right click on the okay first sorry um, create partition table you need to do that first okay so you do that um, click on device create partition table then you need to go new partition right click new partition choose here ext2 3 or 4 4 is the most commonly used one you can drag the slider to however big the size you want of the partition I'm going to use the whole whole space all of this, uh, I mean all of the space allocated so select ext4 for file system click add click apply I click apply and let it do its thing just give it a second is uh, running in virtual box that's it completed close okay so all you need to really do here is create a single partition and that's very easily done you click device click create partition tables then you click right click new and uh, choose ext4 click ok click apply and then exit departed that's it a single partition if however you're going to want to use a separate swap partition then you need to create two partitions but that's for the advanced users and they'll know how to do that um, if you do not use a separate swap partition um, Makulu Linux will use a cached uh, swap file so you don't need a separate swap partition okay so let's click close here okay it will pop up you want to install grub bootloader uh, gives you the choices of where to install 
says they recommended this MBR okay so master boot directory that's where you want to put it so you click MBR it will ask choose location to install bootloader it will give you the options if you have multiple drives it will actually pop up multiple drive names but there we go on that one there now it will actually give you in a partition window it will tell you what partitions are what that CD-ROM uh, SDA is your EXT4 and there's your squash FS okay so SDA1 is your EXT4 that's your main drive which is SDA1 so here we click SDA1 that's where we want to install and click OK and it says what would you like to uh, format it to you say EXT4 it will ask you your host name remember you chose host name and username change so host name let's put that VBOX we click OK and it will say please close any running applications now da -da 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 and we proceed with installation and now installation will start see it's, it's very easy um, choose number 1 and 13 for options then on gparted um, create your device tables uh, partition tables I mean and then uh, create one partition you know that's quite easy right click new partition um, ext4 ok apply exit and then the rest is piece of cake okay so I'm just gonna let this uh, install go and carry on when it's done mm. so while that's finishing I just want to recap quickly so you start up the installer you get ask your geographical data you enter those then you'll be presented with the options screen installation option options you choose number one and number 13 click OK uh, advanced users can use the other options but I mean they should be advanced users so they should know what those options do um, but the novice users number one and number 13 then uh, <coughs> You'll be presented with Gparted to partition your part uh, uh, partition your drive. Um, all you need to do is uh, make sure that you click on um, uh, the top there to create partition tables, and then uh, next you right click on the little screen, the little graphic screen showing your partition. You right click, create new partition, choose ext4, click OK, exit then uh, choose where your bootloader must go MBR is the default choice so push MBR then uh, select your it will you'll be presented with a partition list so you can see where your EXT4 is usually it's SDA1 so select SDA1 if that's the number then click OK and it will start installation oh you'll be presented with your host name change your host name put in whatever you want for your computer name and uh, click start installation it will copy the files and this is where we are now change login name since this is just uh, for testing I'm just gonna make the login name testing it says they enter new login enter new login name you want to use okay so that will be testing okay and give it a second it's just creating the user and it should pop up another pop up another box now asking what my real name is Mm, virtual box okay there we go the user's real name is currently Makulu enter real name you want to use without trailing commas so I'm gonna put testing again um, okay so there it's making it uh, it says change user password uh, would you like to change the root password recommended so yes let's change root password as you can see previous installer used to go to terminal now it has a GUI so I'm going to make the password testing as well. Enter it again, testing, and click OK. Uh, to say, would you like to change the user's password? Recommend it, yes. So let's go yes. And I'm going to make that testing as well. And testing, there we go. And I'm going to click OK. At both times, it shows in the thing I've changed successfully passwords says uh, Maskulu Linux installation complete you may now reboot the new system into the new system remember to remove your installation media click OK and it exits that's it Maskulu Linux is installed if I reboot now I will reboot into the new system so I just want to open up here quickly um, gparted because I know a lot of the guys get stuck with uh, the 
partition part of the whole installation so I'm just going to quickly just recap uh, the partition part right so um, all you have to do when you start up your partition manager I mean during the installation is choose device create partition table very important if you don't have if you've got an unallocated partition you, it's blank it's a new drive or it hasn't been used or whatever the case might be always create a partition table that's very important so you click device create partition table okay apply and then you can create your partition and you only need to create one partition unless you're going to be using a swap partition a separate swap partition but advanced users will know how to do that novice users all you have to do is right click new um, and once you new you it will you'll be presented with a menu and there you just choose uh, your your partition file system as ext4 click ok and click apply very 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 simple and then close you know that uh, partition list that it pops up with your partition names if you actually look here in gpart that after you created the partition it actually tells you where it is it tells you it's sda1 ext4 size so you can see the sda1 so you know exactly what to choose where to install your makulu linux 2 because it actually tells you so yeah very easy very simple and as you can see used 5.42 gigabytes so that's the size of a Makulu Linux install from scratch is what five and a half gigs so always make sure you've got five five and a half gig gigabytes worth of space for installation you'll obviously need more space for whatever you want to use after that uh, and remember that your your swap file um, will be a cached swap file so it will create a, a file named um, swap file and it will use that as a swap file so you'll need additional space for that as well usually swap file is only between 100 and 200 megs can get a bit bigger I'd say leave about a gig at least free space just for your swap swap file but yeah so that was the installation of Makulu Linux very easy very simple as you can see the new installer has been refined a lot the choices are um, easier now the instructions are easier to follow all the pop-up menus have uh, little instructions written on the top of them if you get lost just read them they'll guide you um, yeah so the previous installer had a million options and a lot of unnecessary options and it confused a lot of users the new installer um, it still has all the advanced features but it doesn't give you all the unnecessary options it, it's much more to the point of what needs to be done so it's very easier to follow you know as you saw I, I did this in, the, in, in a matter of minutes uh, it was so easy um, yeah I hope this guide will help everybody um, and hope you guys enjoy Makulu Linux this is Jacques signing out